So we're at part five. This one is a pretty short one, so we're gonna bring me a new cast of people. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous image. It's so pretty. My word, her singing is so beautiful. Christine, I never thought I would get to see you singing on the stage. You're breathtaking. Do you like the opera Faust? As a member of the Chagney family, you must be considerate of this performances. Ah. I'm thrilled to have come here tonight, to see Christine like this. What should I say? Will she be surprised? I hope Christine remembers me. You hope Christine remembers you? You know that singer? Well, you've been in the Naval Academy for a long time, haven't you? Is there something you're not telling me? Phil, th that's... Oh, Christine's face! Philip, look over there. Doesn't Christine look tired? You're the one that looks tired, child. Is something wrong? Philip, I should go see Christine after the performance. I'm worried about her. Fine, for now, focus on the performance. I won't bother, this too shall pass. Christine, I never thought I'd see you again like this. You're back. How was the opera? First act wasn't great without Margaret, but after that, Christine was amazing. What? Did you even appreciate the opera? Philip, let's go see Christine right now. Stop being silly. You're a Chagney after all. Yes, sir. So, when are we going to see Christine? Wait, Shirley's coming. <laughs> Count Philip, did you like the performance? How was it? Sorely, you were beautiful on stage. Really? Thank you. Well, this is my lover, Sorely. Nice to meet you, Sorely. Count Philip, who is this? He looks barely older than I am. Oh, don't tell me he's your secret. My brother and my sisters are much older than me, Sorely. And my brother hasn't been able to get married because he's been taking care of me for 20 years. Oh, I was so surprised. Sorely, this is my younger brother, Viscount D. Chanley. He's my youngest sibling. I brought him up like my own child. <laughs> Come on, brother. Count Philip, I was headed to Christine's dressing room. Would you like to join? If you wouldn't mind. In that case, follow me. I can stay with you after seeing Christine. Let's go then. Well, I'll go ahead with Sorley. You'll be able to find your way to the dressing room. Christine Day's room is upstairs to the right. Don't worry, I can find my way. He still sees me as a five-year-old boy. Christine, I want to see you.
Well, what took you so long? Oh, I didn't think we'd be able to see each other again. Philip, please hurry, I must see Christine. I saw her earlier, but only briefly. It's still crowded, so wait until all the people have left. But I really need to see Christine right now. I'll be back. It could take a while, right? I'll wait outside. Huh, as expected by Chagney, so wild. There's so many people. What are they talking about? So many people. <laughs> Miss Day, Margaret was a perfection to itself. I thought an angel descended from heaven. What a wonderful performance, Foster and Margaret forever. Christine, are you all right? You don't look well. I agree, you were enchanting on stage, but is it because of what we were talking about earlier? <gasps> what a relief, nothing happened during the performance. Go try and relax by hugging the cat. I don't know, I just want to lie down alone. Honestly, I'm not sure what song I sang. I'm still scared because of that. I'm still very confused. Oh, I'm so dizzy. Is she not feeling well? Christine! <sighs> Are you alright? Are you feeling sick? Is there a doctor here? I'm the doctor of the eyebrows. What is it? Doctor, we had better ask these people to leave. Miss Dye must be exhausted, and yet everyone's so noisy around her. And who are you? Are you related to Miss Dye? Why is that important? She looks like she might faint. Get everyone out of the room and check up on her. She's pale. Please, everyone, leave for Miss Dye's sake. She needs rest. Christine, you must come listen to my farewell speech. Rest for now and come later. You are really amazing, Christine. Thanks. See you later. Doctor, what's wrong? Oh, I asked the people to leave so that you can rest. Then why is this person here? Christine. Do you remember me? Ah. Hmm, well... Back by the sea? Oh, that scarf! Christine still has it! Christine, remember when you dropped the scarf in the sea ten years ago? That scarf? I'm the little boy who went into the sea to pick your scarf. I'm Rao D. Chagney. Have you forgotten? Our first meeting? Excuse me, but what are you talking about? No way is this person you've been wanting to see every day. Uh, uh, how can I make Christine remember me? Please remember the day we first met Christine. You don't remember the summer of the Sea of Tristra? I was the by my... I was by my... what? I was with my tutor. And you were dressed in blue. I remember how the scarf around your neck was blown by the wind and fell into the sea. So, you are the one who got back this scarf? No way. I've never gone to the sea wearing this scarf. That's right. Never. I know that face. She used to make awkward faces when she was lying. I believe you don't remember. Allow me to remind you. I jumped into the sea and brought back the scarf. I remember your brilliant smile when you got your scarf back. I never got meeting you. Or that blissful summer. <laughs> How could I forget someone I don't even know? You don't remember what happened three years ago, either? When I came to find you after you moved to Paris? Well... Of course you can't remember everything I said back then. But I promised you, Christine. 
I promised I would never forget you. How would I remember someone I just met today? Christine is a common name. You probably confused me with someone else. Can you please stop asking questions? This makes no sense. There's no way she wouldn't recognize me. And she definitely flinched when she saw me. I'm not sure what's going on, but this person can help me. You live with Christine, so you must know her well. Has Christine ever spoken of someone named Ralph? Well, you see, Christine sometimes... I've never done that. I'm sorry? You mistook me for someone else. I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. I must ask you to leave, young man. Doctor. Oh, what is it? I want to be left alone. Could you please take everyone outside? Please? I'm very tired. I can't even move. You heard that? I must ask you to leave. Wait, Christine! You don't remember the stories your father told us? The legend is of Sweden? And the angel of music? Everyone, she needs some rest. Let's move. Christine. You remember the scarf. You could be Mr. D. Chagney. But Christine says you are not, so there's nothing you can do. Ah. <sighs> What if she really has no memory of me? But I saw it. Her eyes were frightened. Will I have to wait for Christine to come out and ask her again? Well, that was in of part five. I messed up. Ah, I was doing so good. Ah, I did that one part. I was like, dang it, I messed up. Oh, well. I'll see you guys in the next one.